we're going to do a uh, Beatles song, Something. Now, it's originally was written in the key of C. Now, uh, not everybody can sing that high. So, I've dropped it down a lot. You know, like if you were a, if you were a baritone, this would be the way you could play this song, okay? So, it's going to be in the key of G. All right. Something in the way she moves reminds me of no other lover. Something in the way. She moved me. Don't want to leave her now. No, I believe in her. Okay, that's kind of how it's going to go. Okay, so we're going to start out in the key of G. I'm just going to take my one finger, my middle finger, and I'm going to put it on that. Sixth string, third fret. Okay, that's going to be the first chord. The second chord is an F or a G major seventh, and I kind of, I mean, to make a G major seventh, you're going to need an F sharp in that chord. Okay. So I'm. The second chord is kind of like an open chord. So it, there's the first one. Okay. Then we go to a G seventh. To a C. So I'm playing a C. Then I'm going to take my middle finger. I'm going to bring it up on that second fret of the fifth string. So it's going to be to an A7. So, something in the way she moves attracts me like no other lover. Something A7 in the way to a D. I'm going to play that D, then I'm going to play it open two, three, and four string. Then I'm going to play that chord, which is, I got my index finger on the uh, second string, first fret, and my middle finger on the second fret of the third string. So it's going to be. Okay. Then I'm going to an E minor, and I'm just going to use one finger on the, the fourth fret. And I'm sorry, the, the fourth string, second fret. That's going to be the first one. Then you're going to drop that down to the first fret on the fourth string. Then you're going to play it open. Then you're going to play this chord. I've got my little finger on the first string, third fret. And I have my middle finger on the second fret of the third string. I'm, I'm playing strings five, three, two, one. Okay? And it has a little turnaround. It goes C, D, or F, anyway. C, F, D, back to G. It does another verse. Okay? So when you, the second time you do this turnaround, to an E. So the, the, the 
this is the part where it goes. You're asking me how love grows. Okay, so that, that chord is an E. Then it goes into a E major seventh. So how do you make an E major seventh up here on, on the by the E? Okay. So, um, I, well, here's my E chord. Okay. I'm gonna take my middle finger. Well, the way I I make it is because I got a problem with my index finger. So, so you're gonna you can you can do it like this. So I've got my index finger on the first fret of the fourth string. I've got my middle finger on the first fret of the third string. And I've got my third finger on the second fret of the fifth string. Should sound like that. So you're asking me my love grow. I don't know. Okay, C sharp minor. Okay, that's up there on it. I mean it's just like a you know, you know a B minor position, you're just gonna move it up two frets. Okay, so it's You're asking me when my love grew. to an A. I don't know. G, I'm sorry, D. I don't know. I'm back to E, I'm sorry. Let me do that again so I don't confuse you. You're asking me my love grow. Instead of going back to E, it goes to G. And then it does this little rondo. Okay. Go back into another verse. In the way G moves. I kind of like that that chord there. It's, it's, it's got little more of a mystic sound to it, okay, it's open chord. So that's pretty much how you have to, to play it in the key of G, all right? So give it a shot. <laughs>